This is Garrett Fry, the founder of and an instructor for the Matte Painting for Filmmakers project. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through some of the features of the website and what you can expect when you subscribe to a plan, a course subscription plan. So when you have subscribed and created a login, a username and a password for yourself, then you can just log into the site and you can do that by clicking on this icon here at the top right. And once you log in, there's a new menu that appears here and it's the My Courses menu. So under this menu are the courses that you have subscribed to. So right here we have the Camera Projection Bootcamp. So if you go ahead and click on that, you'll be brought to the My Course page for the course that you're subscribed to. And think of this page as the hub, everything that you need in order to complete your course. On the left hand side here, you have an extended view of all of the lessons included with this course. And you also have access to all of the downloadable project files that are associated with each of these lessons. When working on a long online course, you want to make sure that you can jump into your training and know exactly where you've been and where you need to start. And there's two different ways that you can tell where you've been or where you are in the course. So anytime that you visit one of these lessons, one of these check marks will appear right here, will indicate that you've been there. And also you can make course bookmarks. So every lesson has the ability to uh, bookmark it and it will show up here in your bookmarks menu. And so this is a really great way of being able to uh, mark where you are in the course, but also to remember some important lessons that you want to go back to. So further down here on the right hand side is the your forum posts area. So this is going to list all of the posts that you make on the forum. And it's also going to notify you when there has been a reply to one of your forum posts. So if your instructor is getting back to you about a question, then it will indicate right here and it'll tell you how many responses that you've gotten to your posts. Uh, also, if you are uh, submitting an assignment, then every time you submit an assignment, it will show up in this menu. And as you can see, um, that it uh, gives you some information about the post that you've made. So this is the description that you've given it. And then the state of it right now is that it's complete and you're submitting it for feedback. And you can tell here that there's been four comments made. And the last comment here is listed right there. Okay. You also have um, the ability to uh, send an issue notice if there's something wrong with the site, if you've got issues with project files, the video training, anything about uh, interacting and you know getting your training, then you can uh, send an issue notice and we will get that resolved. You also have here the change log, which is going to list all of the changes that have happened with the course as this is a subscription that uh, the course is always evolving and keeping uh, up to date so all of the changes here will be listed in the change log this is one of the lessons for the course and as you can see you have the big video here that is responsive to your uh, browser window so if you open up your browser or close it uh, or make it smaller then it will get smaller or bigger depending on uh, how big your display is and how big you want to view it. You also have uh, the ability to go to the previous lesson and the next lesson right there. So you don't have to go find them down here in the list. You also can set your bookmark. So right here, this lesson has been bookmarked already. So it has a delete bookmark button right here. So I can go ahead and I can click this and it would delete that bookmark or I can go back into the My Course page and delete them there. So on the right hand side, you can see that there is the project files that are associated with this lesson that you can download. And you can also leave a comment uh, right here if you have a question about this particular video. When you're ready to submit an assignment to receive instructor feedback, then what you'll do is go up to the My Course menu here and click on My File Submissions. And when you click on that, it's going to bring up this page and it's gonna list all of the submissions that you have made for the course. 
If you need to submit a new assignment, then what you do is you go over here to add item and click on submit. And that's going to bring up a form where you fill out some information, uh, upload videos and files and post images, uh, all having to do with your assignment. And when you click on one of these blue bars, these represent the submissions that you've made, it's going to bring up all the information that you have submitted. So uh, in this gray box here, this is just going to give you some general information um, about the submission. And then on the left hand side are the uh, files and images and things that you have posted for this assignment. And you also have a video here and some files. And on the right hand side is where your instructor will post the feedback. So they'll post images and videos and some comments and maybe some files. And then on the bottom here is the discussion that you'll have about the assignment. So if you need to uh, edit, go back and edit one of these assignments to replace some images or videos or modify the upload files, then you'll go over here to this edit icon and uh, you'll be able to edit that. Or if you want to delete this assignment outright, then you click on that icon there and then it'll delete it for you. If you go up to the My Course menu here and go down to My Account, this is going to bring up all of the courses that you are subscribed to, and it will tell you the uh, start date and the end date for your subscriptions, and you also have the ability to renew your subscriptions. So you can see here that this person has the mentorship plan here, and which is also included the year-long benefits and the 12-week benefits that are associated with that. And with the mentorship plan, you have the ability to put these 12-week mentoring benefits on hold. So that is the lesson commenting, the forum, and file submission for instructor feedback. You can put those benefits on hold for a period of time. So uh, if you wanted to do that, then you would go down here and you would put a hold request on your benefits and then you can put an activation request on that. You just have to remember to uh, make sure you activate your benefits before your, your subscription is up. You also have the ability, if you are subscribed to a basic or a standard plan, you have the ability to renew your subscription at a pretty good discount or you can upgrade to one of the other plans. So you can go from basic to standard or basic to mentorship or anything like that. And it will actually deduct the cost of the unused membership that you have and apply it to the new subscription that you are enrolling for. I also wanted to show you the forum. So this is where you can post all the questions that you have about the course, uh, questions about particular assignments or general training questions. Um, so you can seek answers within your assignment submissions or you can do it here on the forum and have a discussion with other people that are enrolled in the mentorship plan. And um, you can see here up on the top right, this will give you a list of your notifications. So you can see that it will tell you all of the notifications that you have. And if you click on all of your notifications, it'll, it'll tell you um, if you have multiple uh, questions that you've asked, that they'll all be listed here and who has replied to you and how long ago. So um, if you need to ask a question, you can do a search for something on the forum and search the knowledge base there, or you can ask a question. If you ask a question, then you can uh, apply that to uh, you know whatever particular course that you're subscribed to. Um, if that be assignments or uh, whatever, you will post your question here and submit that. And then uh, your instructor will be notified that you've submitted a question and um, they will respond to you on the forum. So those are all of the features and what you can expect when you subscribe 
to a course from the Matte Painting for Filmmakers project, I would check and make sure that you understand which of these uh, features of the website you can use depending on which subscription plan that you are enrolled in, which is clearly indicated um, when you sign up for the course. This again is Garrett Fry, and I want to thank you for watching this video and your interest in the world-class and very best training offered to matte painters and environment artists through the Matte Painting for Filmmakers project.